Hey folks, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Katie and I make stuff, but I also try to share the realities of making stuff, the good, the bad, and a lot of ugly, a lot of ugly. Today, we are going to do something short, sweet, and to the point. We are going to clean out my sewing kit. I am always fascinated at what other people keep in their sewing kits. And I also don't think I've cleaned this out in about a year. I think it's time. Spring cleaning is here, baby. Let's start small. If you are new to sewing, this might be a good place to start and kind of make some decisions on what you'd want in your own sewing kit. Also might be a great place to learn what you don't need. I have a lot of that as well. Let's not delay anymore. Let's clean this junk out. So this is my sewing kit. I did make it myself. I designed the cool little thing on the front and I have since filled it with everything and anything that I could fit in there. So let's take a look at what's in my kit. If I am traveling but not flying, I do take a nice big pair of scissors with me. I got these off of Amazon for maybe 20 bucks, but there were two pairs in there. They're not the best fabric shears, but they are really sharp and they cut leather. So I did like that. If you wanted to splurge a little bit, I would recommend getting one of these flat bottom scissors because when you cut patterns, it's really good. But sometimes these are a little more expensive. So if you're on a budget, I do recommend these. I like them. All right. Ugh. Here's everything else that's in my sewing kit. So along with the scissors, I do have a pair of thread snips that I keep in there. These are spring loaded. I got them off Amazon. It was three in a pack. One of the three doesn't work very well, but these are pretty good. And I actually end up using these maybe more than I use a seam ripper. I do keep a little thing of hand sewing needles in there. These are really flimsy. They're not great. It says assorted, but they all look like they're the same size, but they're in there. And I go through these quite a bit because they bend but it's pretty helpful to have these in there and they're cheap. I would recommend it. I also have a bunch of thread. Let's see threads. I think what you'll notice is none of it, except for this teeny little bit is white and I don't have any black thread, at least not yet. I haven't found it. I don't know why I keep these colors in there, but I use them, they're fine. I've also been wondering where my bright purple machine thread went to. It was in my sewing kit, so I'm gonna put that back with my machine. And I also have black waxed thread. This stuff I use for leather. It's been a long time since I've actually sewn leather or anything for my kit, but I do like to keep some sort of wax thread in there for my leather stuff. I do have a seam ripper that I keep in there. I don't super like using seam rippers. They actually scare me a little bit. I actually end up cutting my fabric more than I end up ripping my seams. And yes, I know that this end goes underneath and you like, whoosh. I just don't find this as dependable as my thread snips, but I keep it in there because I think that all sewists should probably have a seam ripper. It's probably dull. It probably needs to be sharpened a little bit. That might be why it's so bad. I also have a random assortment of straight pins along with one single leather sewing needle. I have been wondering where most of my straight pins were. They were in my sewing kit the whole time. They are organized on this tab that I pulled off of a curtain panel. It's very clean, very organized. They never fall out of this ever and stab me under the fingernails. They never do that because they're so organized on my little curtain tab. But you do need a lot of straight pins and I do keep a lot of straight pins with me. Along those lines, I have this cool straight pin container that I found in a sewing kit. They never fall out of this. I actually have my black thread in here, which should probably go with the rest of my thread. But for some reason, I don't like putting things in here. It also has felt dot that I think I'm gonna throw away. It has what looks to be a shelf peg, which I'm also gonna throw away, a random snap, a second random snap that I think I could probably get rid of, the back to probably one of those snaps, a couple of safety pins and a couple of buttons. I also have this guy. Sometimes I use the little claw clamp thingies. I don't like them as much as my pins, but sometimes they're helpful. I also have this a not so straight pin. Probably gonna throw him away too. I think what I need to do is put all my straight pins in here and get rid of my curtain tab. So maybe we just go ahead and do that real quick. We'll cut ties with the curtain tab. It has served me well, but probably time to put it to rest. There, ta-da. 
Now you may have been eyeing some of the stuff that's in the pile over here. So let's look at the junk that shouldn't be in here. I have this guy. I don't know what it is, but it's in there. Oh, I know what it is actually, because it goes with some of my broken claw clamp thingies. So I can probably throw this away. I have a random belt buckle. My idea was that I would take the buckle part out and put it on a different belt. So I'm gonna put that in my shop and get it out of my bag. I have a leather tab, but it goes with the random leather bow tie. Neither of these really needed to live in this bag, but here they are. So I'm gonna put this with my other leather bow tags. I do have a couple of lengths of bias tape. So I've got a short piece of black bias tape. And then I have this navy blue, I don't know what you call it, cotton webbing sort of bias tape. I don't know why I need this. So I'm gonna take it out and not put it back in. However, I will probably add a little bit more bias tape because I do find that I need this stuff more than other things. I have a couple more of my little claw clamp things that will go in with the pins because I am an organized queen today. I have a couple lengths of elastic. I'm not entirely sure why I'm going to take them out. I do keep some embroidery floss in this bag just because sometimes it's nice to have thicker threads to use for decorative stitching. I don't do embroidery, but maybe I do do embroidery. I might get a wild hair when I'm on the road. I have a length of this lace. It has velvet and lace. I don't need it in my bag, so I'm going to take it out. This is probably the most helpful thing that I have in my entire bag. This is my leather thimble. I love these. I made it They're really, really easy to make. I don't know, I feel like they're a lot more practical than the metal ones. The needles tend to stick in here really well, but they don't puncture through. So I love the leather thimble. I would recommend it, 10 out of 10. Finally in my bag, I have another bag of things. Take a look at some of the other things I keep in here. So I have this really neat vintage measuring tape in there. I found this in just a thrifted sewing kit. I love the retractable part of it. I think that it's super nice and it has centimeters on the back. Highly recommend you have something like this. I also keep a lighter. If I'm sewing with the wax thread or if I have polyester thread, having a lighter is really nice because you can melt those threads and get a nice secure end on them. Sometimes when you're traveling, you just never know when you're gonna need a lighter. And yes, it's fine to take these on planes. I have another spool of thread that's almost dead. I really need to up my white thread, black thread game in my sewing kit. And then the rest of it is buttons, just random buttons. Cause sometimes you never know when you're gonna need a button. I probably don't need specialty buttons like this, but you just never know. So I keep buttons in there. I have managed to whittle down just about everything that's in my sewing kit. So now it's time to kind of build it back up. And in order to do that, I think there are some things that I need to purposefully put in there so that I'm ready no matter what. Let's repack my sewing kit. So the first thing I'm putting back in here are the definites. My scissors, unless I'm flying and then those come out. My thread snips, my seam ripper, and my hand sewing needles. As well as my measuring tape and my container of pins. I'm gonna put my leather thimble in there as well because this is invaluable, along with my lighter and this little spool of black thread. As far as thread of different colors, I am going to add in this kind of icy blue color. It is close enough to white and I don't have a small spool of white thread anywhere right now, but I'm gonna put it on my list of things to do to get one wound. And then I'm gonna put this kind of gray beige color in there as well, because this color actually comes in handy, maybe even more than white. I feel like off-white sometimes just is better. I am gonna put my bag of buttons in there. Some people are going to think that I am crazy, but they make me really happy to look at. So I'm gonna take up space and put them in there. Finally, I'm going to put my embroidery thread back in there because I do think this stuff is pretty useful. So we'll put that in there as well. So that is a peek into my sewing kit. I have to be honest with you and say that I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety because it is so empty now. And what if I need that piece of lace for something and I just don't have it with me? I need to not overpack because I haven't touched half of that stuff. 
in a year. So here's what else I need to know. What do you keep in your sewing kit? What are your must haves you use for every project? And then what are the things that you can't believe you keep in your sewing kit because you've never touched them, but if you take them out, you're gonna feel a little bit of anxiety. Share those below because I think everybody might need a new um, sewing kit refresh at this time of year. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was ridiculous. I don't know if it had a true point, but that's okay. We don't need to every time. I'd like to thank all of my members over on Coffee because of you guys that I can do some of this ridiculous stuff. If you are interested in becoming a member, it is only $2 a month. You do get first crack at some of the found fabrics that I curate, I don't know, rescue from thrift stores and other places. And if you are getting into sewing, but you don't have good access to secondhand fabrics, take a peek over there because I've got some really cool stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was ridiculous and didn't really have a point, you can give it a thumbs down. You can do that too. I don't, I don't mind. I understand. And don't forget to subscribe because other things are coming that probably have more of a direction than this. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.